A beloved community center built with the help of a hometown hero and an NFL quarterback you may have heard of. It's a story of hope and never forgetting about your true home team. And Mike Max is joining us now with the story. Hi, Maxie. Yeah, very apropos the name of the hometown segment, home team segment tonight. Hope, hope Field is a house all about hope. From some grassroots citizens' effort to an NFL quarterback, they built a facility that is inclusive and big and successful. One of their favorite football sons did his part too, and they recognized him for his effort. It started with the vision of Dan and Heather Corley to build a field house in Rosemont through donations. It became a reality. To finally see that it's here and we're breaking ground is, uh, is just truly a blessing. But to get this, they had to raise money from donors. $1.5 million down payment to start. So they partnered with a church and a minister. We prayed about it and sure enough, we're saying, let's go forward with it. My background's in fundraising. It has become a fixture in Rosemont, a place where you can buy a membership and they can hold tournaments to help sell fun. But there is more. They needed a workout area for everyone with equipment. So they tapped a Rosemont football hero. Tom Compton had ascended to the NFL and this project meant much. Growing up in Rosemount, like we didn't have this much space for sports and all that. So like the fact that he came to me with this and I saw the idea kind of blossom, it, it just like, it meant so much to me. But he wanted more. And starting his career in Washington, he became friends and roommates with Kirk Cousins. Tom and I, I remember meeting him at the Dulles Airport when I got drafted and we're getting picked up for rookie minicamp. Hi, I'm Kirk. Hi, I'm Tom. I think I met you at the Combine kind of a thing. And, a few weeks later, we're roommates. We roomed together for two years before I got married. And I'd say, now, where are you from? He said, I'm from Rosemount, Minnesota. They both ended up at the Vikings. And Tom was hesitant to ask his friend, teammate, and now wealthy quarterback to make a donation to his now pet project. No questions. He said, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he was on board right away. I was kind of shocked. I figured he would be like, uh, you know, let me take a look Another at everything. Proposal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on this night, they honor Compton at the field house he helped build with the help of cousins. Probably my best friend in pro football. You know, I now live where he grew up. So when he goes into the, uh, you know, Dakota County Hall of Fame, it's kind of a no-brainer to be able to send a video and congratulate him on that and be a part of whatever he's doing in the community with the Hope Field House. And what it has become is a beacon of hope and support. It is the home for the adaptive hockey team, the Dakota Hawks. One of the best in the state has its own arena. What about the, the, the kids with disabilities getting to play hockey here? What does that mean to you when you see that? It, you become emotional because you see fans screaming and cheering as if it was a varsity hockey game out in the ice. They are recognized with value. Very cool. Um, it's so impressive. I remember growing up, um, there was a few kids. We had at least two in, in Rosemount that were just amazing athletes and definitely inspired you. It's all because Dan and Heather Corley had a vision, then a partner. I really give a lot of credit to, the, to Dan and Heather Corley for sticking it out and, and coming back because they could have just folded tent and left. And on this night, one of Rosemont's favorite sons can feel very good about his contribution. It's unreal. I mean, like you said, uh, just having everyone kind of from the bottom of their heart coming out, f donating, raising the funds, and just having a place for kids, adults to have a good time. Indeed, a monthly membership is just $30 for a single, $90 for a family. So if you're out there in Rosemount area, you've got a pretty good deal, Jeff. Yeah, definitely worth the visit. All right, mm -hmm. thank you, Maxie.